The Cold War was a time of intense rivalry. The United States and the Soviet Union competed in many areas. This included space exploration and, surprisingly, computer science. Behind the Iron Curtain, Soviet scientists were exploring a radical idea, trinary computing. Imagine a world where computers didn't rely on the binary system of zeros and ones. What if there was another way? This is the story of the Situn, a computer that dared to be different. In the world of computers, we're used to the binary system. Zeros and ones rule the digital landscape. But what if we added another digit? That's the basic idea behind trinary computing. Instead of just zero and one, we have negative one, zero and positive one. These are called trites. Just like bits are the building blocks of binary, trits are the foundation of trinary. Think of a light switch. A binary switch has two states, on and off. A trinary switch would have three on, off and dim. This extra state opens up new possibilities for how we represent and process information. Trinary computing on paper offered some tantalizing advantages. One key benefit is efficiency. With three states, trits can carry more information than bits. This means fewer trits are needed to represent the same amount of data. Imagine a smaller, more compact computer with the same processing power. Another advantage is energy efficiency. Switching between three states theoretically could use less energy than switching between two. In a world increasingly concerned about power consumption, this was a significant consideration. Furthermore, trinary systems could be more resistant to errors. The three-state system provides a built-in mechanism for error detection. Any deviation from the three valid states could signal a problem. The idea of trinary computing wasn't unique to the Soviet Union. Mathematicians and computer scientists around the world had been exploring ternary logic for decades. The Soviets, however, were among the first to attempt to build a practical, working trinary computer. One of the key figures in Soviet trinary research was Nikolai Brzezintsov. He led the development of the Seton computer at Moscow State University in the late 1950s. The Seton project was a testament to the Soviet Union's commitment to exploring unconventional computing paradigms. The Seton project was shrouded in secrecy. The Cold War created an atmosphere of suspicion and competition. Details about the Seton and its capabilities were not widely shared outside the Soviet Union. In the mid-20th century, the Soviet Union made significant strides in computing with a unique approach. Instead of following the binary path, they explored the potential of ternary systems. This choice was driven by the belief that ternary computing could offer more efficient solutions for certain types of calculations. One of the most notable contributions came from the Seton computer developed by Nikolai Brusensov and his team at Moscow State University. Introduced in 1958, the Seton was a groundbreaking machine that utilized ternary logic. Despite its innovative design, the Seton faced numerous challenges, including limited support and resources compared to its binary counterparts. However, its legacy lives on as a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of Soviet scientists. Today, the story of the Seton serves as a fascinating chapter in the history of computing, reminding us that there are often multiple paths to technological advancement. Seton the trinary computer developed in the Soviet Union was a remarkable innovation. It demonstrated practical success by being more efficient in certain calculations compared to binary systems. Seton was used in various academic and research institutions showcasing the potential of trinary computing. Despite its limited production, it proved that trinary logic could work in real-world applications. So why didn't trinary computing become the standard? Well, there were several reasons. Firstly, the binary system had already established a strong foothold in the industry. Secondly, the infrastructure and technology for binary computing were more developed and widely available. Lastly, the cost and complexity of developing trinary hardware were significant barriers. These factors combined to prevent trinary computing from overtaking binary systems. The history of computing is often seen as a tale of two systems, binary and trinary. While binary computing became the dominant force, trinary computing offered an intriguing alternative. 
Each system had its own strengths and weaknesses. Binary was simpler and more cost-effective, while trinary had the potential for greater efficiency in certain types of calculations. This duality highlights the diverse paths that technological innovation can take. Trinary computing may not have become mainstream, but it left a lasting impact on the history of technology. It sparked curiosity and inspired further research into alternative computing methods. The legacy of trinary computing serves as a reminder that innovation often comes from exploring unconventional ideas. Even though binary computing reigns supreme, the ternary spark continues to influence and inspire new generations of computer scientists.